let us signal to the world that as South Asian lawyers and beyond, that in America today, the pursuit of a more perfect union lives on. At a conference that's equal parts education, connection, and inspiration. It is our responsibility to reach out to those entering our profession. Hundreds of attorneys travel to Orlando to attend the 12th annual South Asian Bar Association of North America National Convention. For those of you in the room with influence and experience, think about how you can help the next generation. Known as Saba, this group of emerging lawyers, judges, and political leaders continues to excel and make their mark nationwide. We have a deep bench of incredibly committed professionals. Nisha Desai Biswal is among the rising tide of South Asian professionals making a difference in Washington, D.C. While not an attorney, Biswal serves a critical role within the U.S. State Department as the Assistant Secretary of State for South and Central Asian Affairs marking a shift in the government's approach to diplomacy. To have someone of South Asian ancestry who is representing the United States of America and advancing U.S. foreign policy and U.S. relationships with South and Central Asian countries is a huge asset. It's, it's one more way that we're showing that it's not just government to government, it's also people to people. From Biswal and Vanitha Gupta, who heads up the Civil Rights Division within the U.S. Department of Justice, to Sri Srinivasan, the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals judge, South Asians are getting opportunities at the highest levels of government. Saba wants to leverage that influence to ensure the voice of the overall community is heard. We've been really making efforts to, to, to make statements on immigration, on uh, the justice system, and how it's, in it, it, how, how it's working when it comes to South Asians. Of course, the core of Saba is bringing this group of talented people together. We started because we met at Saba, Georgia. Former Saba President Sanjui Kumar says the organization set up her career path and led to the creation of her own law firm. It's been everything. I mean, really, this organization and me and the firm, we're all interrelated. It's all one and the same thing. It's a symbol of how the South Asian legal community has grown in the United States. Now the goal in the year ahead is to keep the momentum going as Saba and the South Asian community overall expands their reach.